AITA for ghosting my best friend and her entire family after she asked me to be her pregnancy buddy and suggested her husband father my child? Okay, so I've been trying to organize this in my head so I can write it out in a way that makes sense and I think I've got it. This is also my first post, so I'll try to do it in the accepted Reddit format I've seen. There's a lot to go through, so please, bear with me, and I apologize in advance for the length. I'm super nervous about posting this, can you tell? Anyways, I, 31F, have a friend, 32F, who will call Z, for the purposes of this post. For background, Z and I have been extremely close since elementary school, to the point we called each other sisters, and our fathers worked together for years before that. Needless to say, I was close with her family as well, and spent a lot of time with both her parents and her siblings, as well as her grandparents. I was always over at their houses, I attended events at their church, and we did a majority of things throughout school together. In high school, Z met her now husband, who we'll call Jay. Jay was a couple years ahead of us, and they spent a lot of time together, and soon her entire world revolved around him. Her priorities completely shifted, she changed, and I wasn't sure if it was for the better. I felt a bit off around him, uncomfortable, and voiced my concern at one point, but quickly backed off. I thought perhaps I was just jealous, my antisocial introverted side was popping out, or or something equally ridiculous. I wanted Z to be happy, and I didn't want to lose the friendship, especially for what I thought was a stupid reason, so I made an effort to get to know and be friendly with Jay, though I still kept a little bit of distance. Fast forward a bit, Z gets pregnant with Jay's baby our junior year of high school, and marries him right out of high school. I should probably mention, Z's family is super religious, as that plays a role in all of this. They settle into married life, and have another kid. Around this time, I go through some, we'll just say rather traumatic shit. My life completely falls apart, and one of the first people I go to, one of the first people I tell, is Z. I stay with her and her family for a bit, including Jay, until I get back up on my feet. Months later, after I'd left, Z comes to me and asks to talk. Of course, I say yes. Context, we're 18 and 19 now, she tells me she talked to her husband, and they both wanted to help me learn to trust men again, this throws me off, because I told her in confidence, and she was one of only maybe three people total I had told, and she thinks her husband would be the best for that job, as I knew him and trusted him. I didn't really, but I couldn't tell her that. When I asked Z what she meant, she said she thought I should have sex with Jay so I could learn to trust men again. Mentally, I'm going, what the literal fuck, but I just ask her if she's serious, and she can't possibly be suggesting I have an affair with her husband. She doubles down, saying she's been so worried about me, and I obviously wasn't doing well. I really wasn't. I was about as low and messed up as it gets, struggling to get through each day and scared of my own shadow. We argued about it for a bit, and she let slip that she was also worried about her husband cheating on her, he'd done it before, and she'd rather know who he was sleeping with. All of this, on top of all the shit already going on in my head, threw me for a major loop. I'm not proud of it, and I'm sure a lot of you will be horrified, but I eventually cave. I can't even begin to say why, my therapist had a field day with that one when I finally told her a month ago. I instantly regretted it. It made me feel worse than ever, and it has haunted me ever since. She has brought up doing it again a few times since, but I am so glad I can honestly say I immediately turned it down every single time. Again, fast forward another 6, maybe 7 e years, we're in our mid-20s at this point, I'm so sorry I can't remember exact ages. And, after a few hospital visits and years of therapy, I'm doing quite a bit better. Not perfect, but getting into a better place. I hadn't spent as much time with Z, Jay, or their family as I used to, but I still went to every birthday, every baby shower, etc. Z has 4 kids at this point, and she wanted to try for a fifth. Apparently, she'd seen some kind of trend online about pregnancy buddies. Basically women getting pregnant at the same time with babies, and doing all kinds of shit together, like joint baby showers, birth announcements, classes, shopping, etc. Z thought this was the best thing ever, and, knowing I had talked in the past about wanting kids and a family of my own someday, came to me saying she wanted me to be her pregnancy buddy. I really didn't want to destroy our friendship, so I tried, somewhat, calmly explaining why that wouldn't be a good idea. I wasn't in a relationship, I wouldn't agree to being knocked up by a random stranger, I wasn't in a place financially or mentally slash emotionally to properly support a child, it wouldn't be fair to the kid to bring it into the world when I wasn't ready for it. She insisted everything would work out, and I couldn't wait for everything to be perfect, or I'd never have any kids. Z said I could get money from the government for any babies I had, and I wouldn't have to get pregnant by a stranger since Jay had already offered. Also, he could be a present, active father in the child's life, or he and Z would adopt the baby if I didn't want it. I really tried explaining to her everything wrong with this plan. First, how could she think I'd give up a baby? She more than anyone knew how much I always wanted kids. Second, how the fuck would we explain any of this to either of our families, or all the kids involved? How would her hyper-religious family react to me having my best friend's husband's baby? How would we explain to Jay and Z's kids, each of whom I'd held the day they were born, and been around their whole lives as auntie? And how would I explain to my hypothetical baby when they were old enough? Third, I would never, ever rely on government funds to raise my child. I couldn't do it, couldn't just provide the bare minimum with no control myself. So, yeah, she didn't absorb any of that, was so adamant that it would work, and then, mid-conversation, via text, with Z, Jay jumps in, calling me and starting the whole thing all over again. He's super enthusiastic about the idea, won't listen to any of my arguments, even less so than Z did. They both pushed me to consider it, told me to get back to them, and over the next couple of months, they tried again a few times. After all of that, I had a hard time facing them. I went to less gatherings, I started communicating less, stopped responding 
responding to texts asking about the whole pregnancy buddy thing, than any texts at all. Z did end up having another baby, and I've never met him, and I haven't seen her and her family in several years. It hurts. I miss her kids. I miss her parents and grandparents. I miss the friendship we had. Recently, Z reached out to me again and told me she's been struggling, that she's having a hard time. I won't give details here, as that's not my place, but I felt like an absolute ass not being there for her. I did respond, and talked for a very short time, because I still care for her despite everything. She was my best friend for years, but I haven't spoken to her since, and I feel so incredibly guilty. I spoke to my therapist about it, but she's focused on my mental health, not Z's, so I feel like it isn't an unbiased opinion. Am I the asshole for ghosting Z and her entire family? Am I wrong for not being there for her while she struggles, when she was there for me? I'm so stuck in my head with all this that it's driving me insane, and I really need some perspective on this. I feel like maybe I overreacted, or maybe it isn't as big a deal as I think, though to me it all seems so unbelievably crazy. Please help, I would appreciate any honest feedback.